So despite the effort to sell France and they're creating a new platform called Choose France for Science, funded by the ANR, the National Research Agency, where you can go, you can apply for grants, 50% of that money will be paid by the French government. Um, they're inviting all kinds of corporations. They got $15 billion in investments last year, and it's going to be a good event. But despite all of this, there are some structural problems. One is uh, for researchers, the salaries are not competitive. So uh, an average researcher in France earns about 3,600 a month gross. It's about double that in the US and it's about 8,000 to 9,000 on average a month in Switzerland. So a lot of researchers are right now thinking about leaving the United States because it's science skeptical, because research funding is being cut in the National Science Foundation and the National Institute of Health in NASA, but they might not come to France. So what Macron is trying to do is attract that talent. Um, the, the laboratories here in France are a bit old. And so they've been investing, they're investing $56 billion uh, in uh, higher education and university laboratories and the rest. Um, and also the amount that the government in France has to dedicate to research is about a little over 2% of its GDP. Germany, 3.1%, uh, Switzerland, other countries have more. So France right. is doing this event to attract talent but it's got problems. So they're doing this event to attract talent. You're saying they might not be the first choice for American researchers. But ultimately, my question to you is whether Europe can actually gain from this flow of researchers moving from the US to Europe. Because despite the announcement in France, we're also having the UK trying to attract American researchers too. Is there a particular area of research that Europe could actually gain from, from this flow of researchers? Yes. So um, public health. So uh, the United States just doesn't have a public health system. Uh, so public health research, uh, things that we saw were very important during the COVID epidemic and which we can expect to reappear as global epidemics will reappear with greater frequency, like global warming, um, artificial intelligence. Microsoft invested six billion dollars in artificial intelligence development in France. France wants to be a leader, a hub of artificial intelligence. Um, clean energy. Now that the Trump administration is screaming, drill, baby, drill, France is attempting to develop solar panels. They had a, a billion dollars invested in a gigafactory for photovoltaic cells. Um, dur durable, sustainable agriculture. We're going to be having food security uh, problems over the course of this century. Uh, France is, is, is a leader in agricultural exports and in agroponics. So there are real areas where France could position itself to attract researchers. And this is what I want to say. As an American researcher living in France, I don't lose my, um, my Americanness at all. But I benefit because even though the salaries are lower here, I'm, I'm just a few minutes walk from the Sorbonne where this event is opening up. The Sorbonne's a world famous university, but the salaries aren't good. But right. on the other side, Let's I have free health care. I have public transportation and I have great public education for my so kids. So actually All there's quite those, a lot of positives, Douglas, in terms of uh, moving of from life. the United States yeah. to France.